Hello everybody, my name is Kandemar and welcome back for another video of Old World. We're going to continue this series, boys. In the last video, we uh, didn't do too much. Actually, we did do a little bit. We conquered the Numidians that were on the west right here. They kept harassing me over every turn, like over and over and every turn. Kept uh, wanting to raid me. I kept having to buy them stuff. I got enough uh, uh, and I decided to just attack them uh, all together. So uh, I dealt with the problem. Eventually, we're going to have to deal with the Libyans as well because they also are doing the same thing, right? They they've, haven't done it for a while, but they're, they're definitely going to do it eventually. So I'm going to have to I'm going to have to head back these armies once they're fully healed up, head them back towards the Libyans and deal with them as well. Once and for all, like deal with all the goddamn barbarian stuff. And I'm going to have to I need I think I need to settle uh, cities. I need to get cities in there so that uh, barbarians don't give me troubles. But I don't want to have to focus on the other cities, you know. It's just too much already. Uh, I'm almost there, like 40, 40 turns. I think, like, I need to just chill and build up my cities as much as, so, as possible. I think that's the main objective, really, for me. Alright, so we're in the next turn. Look at that. Look at... Oh, I'm actually old now. I do look old. My picture grew... Um, changed, boy. So... Uh, she has been tutored, our, uh, our grandson, which is good. He now has some courage, I guess. He's plus one courage. There it is. Uh, so he's working it out on his own, on his own free time, I guess. We, uh, cannot intercession. Oh, yeah, we are going to in uh, do intercession via that. And something for her, she's quite upset. I kind of want in uh, to influence her. I want to tutor her with her as well, but also influence her on my side as well. All right. I want to make everyone happy. I want to make sure everyone's happy. Uh, she's not happy because we killed her entire family, but that's part of the deal, my girl. Her family shouldn't have uh, pissed me off in the first place. Friendly visit. The Duchess, or it's a family friend, paid a visit to our Duchess school and sends a glowing report about the heir's progress. She appears happy and healthy, and she is excited to return home and take her place in the court. Really good. Um, well, send her a gift of academic text, or no, send her wine for to revel with her friends. She has, she's going to get plus one charisma from that, so we definitely want uh, to give her that. All right, so that is good. Upgrade Elisar, which is my new wife and also the governor of this city. Uh, plus one courage. Let's give her some courage. Yeah, absolutely. She now has a lot of courage, boys, which is good. Uh, we also have... So, we have a general. An option as a general right here. We could get uh, our king to go back as a general. But I'm not going to do that. Uh, our prince. Is he general? He's not even... Uh, the prince is not even general right here. Uh, we might as well put him as a general right here. There we go. So there he is. So he's going to be the general. All right. He, he needs to be used for something uh, over here. So all the cities right here and stuff. Okay. Yeah. We uh, we need to start working on all of this. So apprentice poet. A poet. Really? Yeah. Why not? Let's get that. I guess we can get some poets and stuff. Interesting. Uh, that's definitely interesting. What about you, buddy? We can't really do anything. So council uh, right there. Over, over here, buddy. You are going to get a council as well. And same thing for you and that city. Get a council going. All right. So we got uh, a governor over everywhere. Yeah, everywhere's got a governor. Everyone's got, uh, has got one. All right. We're good. Uh, you are going to heal up big time. You are going to go here and you're going to get promoted uh, to guard level two. Same thing for you. Get promoted to combat level three while you're at it. All right. That's perfect, boys. So. Now that that is done, um, we have a, not, uh, a builder that is done with what he was doing. We need to search for a potential lumber mill, which we have one right there. So we're going to do that. Lumber mill, boys. Just like that. So in what? A couple of turns. We got 29 turns to do it. We still are working on the shrines. The sh shrines is going to take a while to get that. I'm going to focus that on another time. The medians. You can attack each other freely. So we are at war still with the Numidians. Oh, that's right. I did forget we are still at war with the Numidians. And they are attacking our territories right here. I did. I kind of forgot about that. Yeah. I'm going to hire both of these skirmishers so they can't attack me. There we go. So I got both of them. Upgrade them to Libyan cavalry. Nah, I'm just going to keep them as they are. Buy tile. Add a general. Oh, I can add a general to these two as well. 
I could do that. Let's add the general. I can't add her. Yeah. All right. So no. So uh, I can't add the general to these. No. Okay. Well, I have two extra units just from that as well. Uh, I'm just gonna end up just disband uh, disband them. There we go. Just disbanding them, boys, all together. I don't need these units. It's just I'm buying them. I got money, so I can buy them right away, and then uh, and then just not deal with them. Just dismember them. I just don't want to have to deal with the Numidians, which uh, part of I kind of want to interest tribal peace. I need the ambassador for that. She's already working on upgrading uh, the happiness for our Duchess, though, so can't do anything just yet. Scout, um, I guess you could move right here. Keep moving right here and uncover as many lands as you can uh, right here. There we go. All right, so that's pretty much it. We do have a cheat that we can use, obviously, for the turn. Um, what do we want to use exactly? I think I want to get myself some builders, to be honest. Or maybe just another city. Like, settle another city or something like that. I could do that. I think more builders in general. Just so I can build, like, um, the, uh, the, the stuff that I need. Let's just quickly research the tech right here. There we go. Uh, I'm going to quickly research that tech. So, get that tech right there. Boom. Uh, we just got that tech. There we go. We researched that tech. So, we got the free settler. Wherever he is. I'm not sure where they gave it to me. Okay. So, they gave it to me all the way there. I can either settle over there or over here. I think it's better for me if I settle in the desert, uh, to be honest. There is a city site. I could settle there, but don't think that's a good idea. So I think I'm going to go towards there in that region. We're going to go uh, in these uh, places, boys. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, next turn right here. Let's skip to the next turn, boys. All right, reports of a raid from a Numidian uh, outpost near uh, Epius Radius, which uh, I've already dealt with that. They're coming in, though. Uh, with a mild fever and a runny nose, our king is rather ill. Okay, so he might die soon, boys. He, he might die. He is 61 years old. He lasted the longest so far. And um, you can see his image and stuff. So, ambassador has died. So, our ambassador has died now. We got to find a new one. Uh, Prince... Uh, our son-in-law is now head of the uh, the religion. Okay, he's now cal cautious of us. Um, our son just has given birth to another son. Oh, good, they've got three children uh, at this point. I do not want to lose my settler right here. I don't want to lose him. Let's send him over here. Don't want to lose him at all. Uh, let's um, keep working. Uh, I guess we can get Fisher done. Let's get the Fisher done uh, then, if we can do that. There we go. And uh, quickly go work on it as well. Uh, over here, get the council going. And uh, I think, I guess, the, uh, it's the third city right here. Get the council going over there as well. Tactics studies. Hold on. Oh, we got some stuff we got we to gotta do first. Uh, actually, well, we'll hop on in with that another time. I do want to um, work on this, guys. So uh, we are going to send them over here. The elephant. There we go. He's all the way over there already. He uh, made a. He can move very far away. Uh, we're gonna send over our uh, army, I guess, because they do need to do something. So we're gonna heal him up as well. Uh, send him over here. There we go. Can we promote him? I think we can. I'm gonna promote uh, these units as much as possible. I'm gonna promote my units. There we go. Go here. He's gonna. I can't really promote him that much. He's already promoted as a, a lot. We need a new ambassador. We can choose our son to be the, the ambassador, but he's not going to be a governor anymore if we do that. Uh, we could always have her as an ambassador too, though. We have her as an option. So we're going to get her. There we go. She's my new ambassador right here. So uh, let's see what we got. What do we got right here? So we got a brand new child. There we go. Look at how many children we've got right here. That's quite interesting. She's still very upset with me. Um... Yeah, that's very interesting. She, she's got, uh, they, they've got a lot of children, even more than them. Seems like they're not really re reproducing that much. They're not doing too much with each other. Uh, these uh, are very, I guess they're really in love with each other or something. Because they are producing children. So, uh, the prince consort and everything. Our duchess is probably going to give us problem a problem. But uh, we'll see how it goes eventually. I do have a lot of events going on, so let's take a look. Unless I've got... Yeah, I still got this guy right here I need to move. 
Let me keep him right there for now. Tactus uh, studies. All right, so the Duchess. Now that the Duchess uh, Bersine has completed her studies of Tactus, how shall she contribute to the court? A tactician, a brave and clever military mind. Okay. Or she, a zealous, persuasive, passionate believer. I need a capable soldier, right? So she's going to be my soldier. I'm going to have her uh, in there. There we go. Indifferent queen. So your wife, the queen consort, uh, spends more and more nights at her private estates outside the capital. When she visits the palace, she treats you with cold indifference. Meanwhile, your beautiful lowborn, lowborn hunting uh, companion has drawn your attention. Shall we arrange some private time for you? Uh, well, my queen, to be honest, wait, my queen is gay. Oh, my queen is gay, really? She's homosexual? Fuck, Elisar is homosexual, boys. Well, that complicates things a lot. That's my third wife, by the way. That really complicates things. We do enjoy each other's company. I will not for forsaken my vo uh, 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 marriage vows. Um, Requires king is not carnal. You know what? I do enjoy each other's company. I, I, I'm going to cheat on my queen. She, if, she, if she's gay, she can't give me children. What the fuck is the point then? You know? There's no point, so... Let me do... Um, let me do that uh, that one right here. There we go. Uh, patron gods of Carthage. Alright, what, what what's happening here? The prince, consort Abs Abdusir, head of the, uh, uh, of the religion, enters the court and bows before you. Acolytes stand beside him, wearing robes inscribed with the sacred signs of the gods we serve. My king, it is customary for royals to seek the blessing in favor of a god or goddess from the uh, Pantheon as a patron of protection and blessing. Would you publicly announce your intentions and offer the proper uh, sacrifice and tributes? All right. Uh, yeah, I'm the lord of the sea, ruling from his palace. Which one do we choose, boys? So, um... This is going to give us plus one discipline, plus one charisma, or plus one charisma, basically. So, culture of love, or cult of love, or C. Uh, what do I need the most? Discipline, I feel like I need the most right here. Let's get the discipline. There we go. I, this is the one I need the most. So, Mott, the god of the underworld, boys. I need the discipline. Uh, death of the ambassador. There we go. Uh, choose another ambassador. It's already done. I've already done it. So, it's good on that side. Uh, did we use a cheat? I don't think we did just yet. So for this turn, what type of cheat do we want to use, boys? I think I kind of want to get navigation. So I might use that cheat to get the navigation thing. Uh, I think that's what I'm going to end up doing. So get uh, navigation. Uh, so where is it at? Where is the navigation on, boys? We got a we got a finding in the technology tree right here. There it is. I found it. Going to get navigation, boys. It's done. So now we're going to be able to build, like, next turn, once these console things are done, we are going to build, start building Byrams, which is one of our main objectives, right? So we're going to do that. Let's take a look. Uh, what do we want? Sovereignty, metaphysics, or monet uh, monetism? I don't care too much. Let's just view the, uh, the tech tree really quick. What is the best option right here? What do we want to go for? We still haven't got Ausbendery, boys, by the way, which uh, would give us pastures and stuff. Uh, phalanx would be great to upgrade our melee units and stuff like wheels like all of this but sovereignty tyranny uh charism or tyranny or constitution uh, i think meta uh, metaphysics to convert to steric religion i think i'm gonna take uh i'm gonna take that we're gonna take uh metaphysics boys so yeah let's uh, end that we're working on uh metaphysics next it's gonna take four turns i i guess i still have my yeah my scout to move right here so Keep moving him. We haven't uncovered anything truly towards that region right here. So not a lot we can do. Let's skip to uh, the next turn. So one of our courtiers has died. The drunk card, right? Our, the, that was our merchant, our great merchant. Uh, she died. I guess at 37 years old. I don't know how she died. She died pretty young. Uh, two batad or uh, a scientist as tutored. There we go. So plus one charisma. Plus one discipline uh, for our, uh, our duchess, which is good. Uh, we've got also uh, as specifically interested uh, interceded upon uh, our duke, which is good. Interceded as well. Okay, good. You have specifically uh, exerted uh, your influence over our duchess. All right, good. So that means my duchess is now. Let's see, my, my duchess. 
she's minus 40 instead of minus 80 uh which is good enough uh now i'm gonna do family marriage i haven't yeah we didn't marry her just yet but it does it uh, i think i want to do a family or marriage for sure definitely want to do that so family marriage for sure uh first off that's the first thing we're going to do we're going to try and marry her to a family member we also can we tutor her which well, she's already tutored so we're good on that side and he's being tutored as well good i can't influence or anything so i i guess uh we'll just be fine uh the court mourns of course the great loss of that great merchant one last quarter i guess the ants gold let's see what this is all cart at us is Aaron enraptured with uh with tales of our grandson's exploits in india he went into india boys okay land of the ants gold these reports say that far to the east beyond even the tallest mountains is a land of scorching deserts and unending sun where the sandy wastes are interrupted only by moons of golden earth rumors is that giant ants larger than foxes live in that desert they dig up the uh, the ground to build their homes much as they they do here and in so doing bring gold to the surface the men then come when the sun is hottest and the hands are underground to haul the gold away with teams of yoked camels fleeing with great haste lest they be caught by the, the jealous ants should uh, our grandson continue his travels in land of such danger and opportunity absolutely if he continues to explore he's no use to me in the court anyways he's no use to me with us it's better use out there doing stuff like these giving us like uh, uncovering new worlds and stuff so uh send to return home these tales are of gold are fools pursuit no stay out there and find a way to bring that gold home there we go minus two charisma for me let us well let it, wow yeah, that's a lot for me man minus two charisma and let us scholars analyze these reports i can't do that because i'm not inquisitive i'm just gonna stay out there there we go and give us minus two charisma but it's fine because i am getting old anyways it's not like i really can do too much right here i can't get tutored uh, as well you know so it's fine it's really fine colonies or serfdom which one do we want boys the nation must grow so colonies is gonna, uh, is gonna allow us to buy tiles uh move this bonus along the neutral rivers and serfdom is gonna give us uh farms and pastures for all cities uh more outputs for them basically i'm gonna do serfdom i guess serfdom is the best option i guess child of uh of passion what is that all right after disappearing for months your beautiful hunting companion has requested a private audience she presents you with a child born of your passionate affair you agree to let her raise the baby as at a at court as your own but outside of the royal line so it is um it is it is a bastard of course so that baby is a bastard so we're not going to be able to it's not going to be a, going to be a royal line she smiles pleased with the outcome i can see the resemblance illegitimate illegitimate child boys uh ziara all right so we named her ziara after our late queen boys interesting very interesting all right that's kind of interesting so two of our daughter our daughters have the the former names of our late queens is illisar gonna have uh, an uh, a children after her own name maybe maybe a spark what is this so one evening, a courtly reveals uh, Anne. You meet a fascinating young envoy from far away named Alucinati Diplomat. Her beauty catches your eye and laughter lightens your heart as the sun rises. All right, so that basically means do you want to go with her as well? Well, she's not upset with me. She's cautious. I'm just going to go with it. It's been nice, but uh, become I become loyal. I'm not really that loyal, man. I, I'm going to let us see where this goes. Because I've already got an illegitimate child with one of the one, one female. Might as well go with another one. Might as well get another illegitimate child while we can. All right, so we are gonna not. Well, we can't build Byrams here because we're not near the shores. Let's go working on these things then. Uh, uh, let's get a stone cutter or an apprentice uh, thing. Let's get uh, the apprentice poet, I guess, right here. Perfect over here buddy you are gonna get the byrams i need to get a byram there we go keep or uh, start working on that 
Uh, same thing for you. You're going to get working on the Barons. It is part of our objectives. Uh, there we go. Uh, next unit. We get some builders done with what they were doing right here. As you can see, one of the lumber mills has been built. We, uh, we need two more shrines and six lumber mills. Uh, this is... Uh, no, this is not... That's not it right there. This is my settler, yeah. But my settler, you can stay. You can uh, go there if you want. I'm going to start attacking. Oh, man. That elephant does a lot of damage, boys. Yeah, my elephant does a lot of damage. That's kind of crazy. I like that. I like that quite a lot. Okay. Let's uh, go over here. Can we actually attack? Oh, we can. So we got rid of him with my uh, slingers. All right, let's continue over there, boys. I'm not going to worry about the Libyans. I need to worry about the Numidians. Uh, big time. Fortify, I can probably promote uh, these guys. Nope. I can promote this guy right here. Not not even. Okay, nope. So, um, next up, we it, it did say we had yeah, a builder right here. So, he's done with that. I need a shrine somewhere, man. It's not... I don't have the option of that, though. It's not giving me an option for the shrines. Let's just go over there and build a lumber mill, boys. I'm gonna build the lumber mills in the meanwhile. Uh, in the meantime... Feel like shrines is not really the like the main focus I should go on right now, so we're just gonna keep it like that for now. Uh, it seems like they're really mobilizing the Libyans. It's kind of scaring me. I don't have. Here's the thing: I don't want to have too much of a military presence, and I can't be focusing on two places at the same time. It's really frustrating right now. Tribal, uh, tribal truce via the ambassador. I kind of want that right now. Let's. Try and get a tribal truce because I don't even know where you are anymore anyways. Let's try and get a tribal truce. If I can get it, I'm going to be able to send all my truce back right here. And declare war to the Libyans and get rid of them as well, you know. That would be the best option for me. Alright, so now that it's that, what kind of cheat do we want to use? I'm not entirely sure, boys. Uh, first off, we are going to use my scout really quick. We're going to move him. There, there they are, by, uh, by, uh, by the way. There's the Numidians. Uh, we found them, so uh, that's their camp right here. Uh, what we want to do, I guess, I, I want to use a cheat right here, but does it count if I do an actual shrine by myself? If I build a shrine somewhere, does, uh, does is it actually gonna count? Hold on, improvements. Let me let me see real quick though. Uh, let me see if I can't uh, get, I guess, resources improvements. Uh, build turns, no text. Resources, vegetation, no. Well, nothing gives me science, really. So I'm just going to go, I guess, for uh, the one like that. That, that right there it looks fine uh, uh, Looks fine to me. So let's get that. Let's get one. Uh, let's get one over here, I guess. Right? Does that work? I see uh, paganism found in, uh, found it in this city. That uh, is not good. I don't want that. Wait, that's not the same religion, though. Or do we have... No, because we have Cardassian paganism uh, over a city. That's the one we want. The, does this work? Oh, it does work. So it, it does work. The cheat does work. Okay, so next turn we're going to use uh, that the same thing. We're going to do another shrine, basically. I think this one gives us the shrine of Ashur. Okay, so it gives us a different uh, type of religion, which I don't like. I don't want that. Uh, let's skip to the next turn, though. We don't have anything else going on. Your doctors and diviners have warned you that the end is near. Time to get your affairs in order. So I'm going to die soon, boys. Uh, my end is near. An ambassador has converted to the Assyrian paganism. Not good because this is not the, really the same religion. It's not a good religion. Um, the oligarch, general and slinger, is now too old and retired from the field. Okay. He retired. Uh, even more soulful and lazy, the, our son has stopped following his strict regimen of dying and exercise. He's lost his discipline. Um, which uh, puts him on minus three discipline. Yikes. G uh, the queen, our, uh, our actual queen, is strange and foul. She's uncalled. What does that even mean? What does that do exactly? I'm not sure. Minus two in governing. Oh, all right. That's great. Uh, Statisher, the Namedian has co converted to our religion. Good. And uh, she, do uh, she did tutor for plus one charisma, our, uh, our daughter. Good. A new marriage proposal for Ammonites has arrived from a four-year daughter, the Duchess. So, um, are they both from the family? Yeah, the Ammonite family. Good, yeah. So, it's either one of them. Which one do I want? One has charisma and the other one has some minuses in there. 
I'm going to choose Bolmikar uh, the Younger because he doesn't have any minuses and stuff. So I'm going to choose him. Uh, there we go. That's going to be your uh, husband, my girl. So let's take a look at it really quick. She now has a husband. There we go. Perfect. And uh, everything uh, else is looking great. Uh, she's going to be soon be able to get tutored and stuff. Okay, that's pretty much it. We're still going to attack. Uh, did it work or is she still working on it uh, on the process? Uh, automate. Yeah, let's automate him because we can do that now. We can actually uh, automate uh, automate him and stuff. So we can do that. He's, uh, he's on automate right now. There we go. So we got him on automation right here. Uh, we can't do anything with that slinger for some reason. Interesting. Uh, we did lose the general. Yeah, we did lose a general for him. So we got to uh, get a new one. The prince uh, is already a general somewhere, isn't he? Next turn, I will get her to be our actual uh, ge new general for this, uh, this, uh, these guys. I'm going to go here and deal with these. Uh, I guess these guys right here. I'm going to go there. Boom, finish them off. Boom, just like that. Perfect, boys. All right, and we do have our elephants as well. Let's send them over there. And uh, that's how slow they are, but they do so much damage, boys. It's unbelievable. They do a lot of damage. Yeah, isn't our prince? Yeah, he's in. Uh, he, he's in charge of the the elephants, so we're good on that side. Um, the builders. Uh, that's my that's my uh, settler. Do I want to settle a city right here? It's telling me that it should go here, but I don't want to do that. It's too far away for me. I feel like. We do have uh, this right here, an event right here, boys. Let's go over here first. Let's uh, uncover this. So while exploring the runes, discuss the ever approached by an old one-eyed man who offers to advise you on certain uh, subjects. The scouts are, scouts are, are keen to leave the area due to sighting several unusual large wolves. So there is only a short time to talk. Eat the advice on war or eat the advice on trade. More money or no, I want that. I want war. There we go. So I get an extra courage point, boys, from that, which is uh, good good for me. All right. Uh, we do have one of our uh, guys done with what he was doing. We are working right now. What is that? Four more turns for the gem. It's not going to happen. That's, I'm not ever going to get that. But uh, this guy, do we want another lumber mill? Yes, we absolutely do. Let's get uh, working on the lumber mills until I know that I'm done with them. I'm going to keep working on them. We do have a sheet that we can use, obviously, like uh, last time. We're going to do a, a shrine. We have some shrines over here. Um, I think what I want to do here, though, is get a second shrine and build it. Build it in the city. Yeah, we, we do need to upgrade the city as much as possible. So I need to make sure it's for the for the right religion. There we go. This, this is for the right religion. This is the one we want right here. So we are just going to get a second one right there. Second shrine right there. We have completed the gold, boys. What, uh, 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 that's now seven goals uh, completed. There we go. One more goal, I believe, and we can get the, the bronze, right? Oh, oh, there it is. There it is, boys. Uh, so we need eight goals completed in order to get the silver and ten goals to in order to get the gold victory. All right. So my main objective is obviously we're going to get to that 100 um, turns, but... Uh, it's obviously to get to the 10 uh the 10 markers uh, the 10 victory goals which i i think i can definitely do at this point so the three barons will work on them as well you know it's definitely doable boys definitely doable don't have enough to do those i wish i could have all the wars i can build them with my money and stuff i got so much money you know all right the ambassador uh is now head of this uh, religion right here she's now cassius my king uh, died so the king is dead boys officially dead at uh, 63 years old or something like that he lasted pretty long he had over 150 plus uh, legitimacy he was a great king had a great uh, reign it's now time for Dido the second to be the queen boys a new queen uh, do her son is now head of the family because my queen is uh is the uh, uh, well she's my queen now so she can't be the head of family anymore all right so we got a brand new leader boys queen dido the new the second the new um at 38 years old so end of an era boys let's watch that the king has died 
We meet his passing with Ush Voice. He died at 64 years old. Had some great stats, no malices. Great king overall, boys. Long live Queen Dido II. All right, so what do we do? We got a bunch of events that's going to happen. Change for peace. Uh, chance for peace. There we go. It is a new queen after all. The new minions have sent one of their leaders to attend your coronation. After the ceremony, he approaches you uh, cordially. We, wa we made war against your last ruler. He says, but we have no quarrel with you. Will you accept our offer of peace? Yeah, let us make temporary uh, truce. Let us exchange gifts of friendship. I don't have enough uh, things right here. Peace and we should make... Why should we peace like you? No, no, no. All right, so I'm going to build some... Um, there we go. Just like that. I'm going to do that. And let's, let's get friendly with each other a little bit. All right, let's actually make peace. There we go. So we made peace, boys. We're officially at peace with them. We're not at war. Uh, which means I am uh, I'm going to be able to go and secure the Libyan lands now. Exploration ends. So our prince uh, is done uh, with the exploration. Unexpectedly returned to the capital for a short visit. He seems weary from his travels, but he is willing to continue exploring if the court desires it. Uh, you are bitter a little bit uh, because of the exploring. You are foolish. I don't know, buddy. You are 18 years old. Uh, honor him for his bravery. So he's brave. Honor him for his good fortune. No longer is pregnant. Becomes blessed. Uh, should continue to explore. I don't know if I should send him in permanent exile. Just uh, like uh, it's an excuse. I'll oh, keep exploring. It's permanent exile. I don't know if I should do that or not. Get get back. Get back with us. Why not? Uh, becomes blessed. Let's bless you. There we go. This is going to be blessed. Whatever that means. He's blessed now. So at least his dad. He's going to be back. He's upset a little bit. Uh, with us. Is there anybody else that's upset? Not really. It's just him. So what we can do is um, we can marry him, obviously. So we're going to do a family a marriage, but I do want to influence him first. Let's try and influence him so he becomes a little bit more happy with us and stuff. Air education. All right. So we got a new girl, boys. Uh, Duchess Embar, of course. Our daughter is second in line. Uh, she... Um, passes quickly so she is growing fast and eager to learn what are we gonna go for her boys right here so what do we need the most basically we need we got 54 right here 72 and uh 201 we don't need any guys for the civics we don't need any of that um we could go once again for another one of those military leaders right i think it would be the best one discipline is fine Let's just take a look at what our family members are all about, though. She's from that trench, so she is my queen, uh, my princess. She's my daughter. Now, it, it, you can see it's changed a lot. My king dies. What happens? My queen already takes her son, gives her the chance, gives him the chance of getting him out of exile, and gives her, uh, a, uh, her daughter uh, some stuff as well. So he's already working basically on science. So this is the big, that was our biggest, or second biggest trait. I think I want to go for discipline, which is the first biggest trait. So I, yeah, we're going to go for discipline for her. Make it a little bit different. Uh, death of our governor. Uh, choose a new governor over here, by the way. We do need a new governor. The ambassador, we can't get for the ambassador. Let's uh, try and go for somebody that would be good. No, that's not good. One of these could be good. But she's a scientist. These are courtiers, right? They're on the court. I could get Dido to be to be in there. Is she not on the court already, though? I don't think she was. Um, yeah, I don't think she was already in the court or anything. I don't think she was uh, the governor. Let's choose her. There we go. She's now the governor of this city as well. Uh, is there a governor for this city? There's no governors for this one? Okay. Well, we do need to choose one. So, Anna... She's an available one. Uh, the Duke Concert but, uh, but in the car. Well, what is he uh, actually right here? I, I do need to see right here. So, plus three charisma. Yeah, he's a good option. Let's get him as the, uh, as the guy. I want the people from my family to be uh, in there. So, there we go. He's the, he's the governor. And we have governors for everyone else. Yeah. So, over here, what are we uh, going to work on right here? Because uh, we can work on a, a Byram for here as well. 
yeah i think I, we should do that so uh let's let's work on that actually we need we don't have enough okay let's get enough then let's uh work on that there we go let's go work on the byrams boys we just need three gonna get done in like five turns the first one okay so air education we said we wanted to go for discipline for her so we're gonna do that let's uh get discipline done for her uh we are gonna start tutoring uh this girl right here we can tutor both of them yours to complete three years um what age is she i don't know uh 13 and she's tw uh, 10 yeah we're gonna uh, tutor her first there we go let's start uh tutoring uh tutoring her first boys that's what we're gonna do tutor uh our duchess right here first that's the most important uh important thing right now do just everything is there yeah she's available right there she's in there so yeah we're gonna work on her big time send them there and attack this cavalry so it does, they don't attack my goddamn um my goddamn soldiers anymore i do need a general right here i need to add a general that's right uh queen dido doesn't have any experience uh we could get the duchess the scene which is what i wanted to do yes our duchess there we go so she's gonna be the military leader over here i still yeah so my settler i don't want him i don't want him to be there let's try and find a new city and stuff i gotta find a new another city there's gotta be a place that i can settle or something right because i i don't want to settle there that's kind of stupid we already have one of those i uh, i need three more lumber mills we're working pretty hard on that those ones am i am i already working on that that's a lumber mill right there that i'm working on so that's gonna be five right there that's six right here is there a seventh one that's been built yeah seventh one so they're all gonna be built i don't need to work uh focus too much on lumber mills anymore that's that doesn't matter anymore so uh build mines let's continue to build farms let's go back to building farms and stuff uh, i need uh order i need some orders so uh i can't buy any i guess which is not good so i guess i can't do anything i don't have enough orders as it is and same thing for this guy i don't have enough orders let's just uh, next time we're going to build the mines and everything but right now i can't do anything i do have a cheat that i can use though for the turn so let's remember to use a cheat uh what do we want to do here i think what i might end up doing boys is is quickly researching these right here i might want to quickly research those uh those things right here that would be great right uh, wouldn't it so i think I, that's what i'm gonna end up doing uh, unless i could quickly build up something owners tiles uh resources vegetation no i don't really have anything so improvements i could get improvements and stuff i could get some ancient runes as well you know i could literally get that boys uh, uh, spawn an ancient rune somewhere and uh, make it so that um we uncover ancient runes everywhere I, I could do that yeah i think i could do that just spawn ancient runes everywhere every time let's spawn ancient runes right there there we go spawn that and uh cancel the automaton we're gonna go we're gonna go here how good of a ruler is she gonna be i don't know she does have minus one charisma just because she is greedy and she's cowardly as well so we'll see how uh, this leads up um, this is going to be very intriguing we got a, a big trench a big family tree right here so everything's going pretty all right for now so remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video i'll see you guys for the next one keep it easy